Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 with a new California law that requires bars to provide drug testing kits to patrons. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab joins us live in Santa Barbara. Mina, you saw how this kit works. Yes, I did see how these test kits work, and we also did speak to bar owners and customers in downtown Santa Barbara who say that they hope this new law will not only help make customers feel more protected, but also decrease instances of date rape. Wildcat Lounge owner Bob Stout is providing the new state mandated drug test strips for free to make it more accessible to stay safe in the Santa Barbara party scene. You take a drop of the beverage. And this case Coca-Cola and you put a drop on each one and you don't connect them you just smear them and if either one of them turns a darker color then you know that the drink has been spiked. The test strip tests for two chemicals GHB and ketamine. A tourist who likes to travel solo says the law is a game changer. I never thought there would actually be an opportunity for, for me to like test my drink and figure out if it's okay or not okay. Um, it's always just been a guessing game, so I think it would give you more confidence to just go out on your own and not have to have like a chaperone or somebody with you just to be able to have your own independence and do what you want to do. But not all establishments are required to provide these test kits. Only bars and nightclubs that exclusively sell alcohol on their premises are required to have signs up letting people know these kits are available. This has been a problem that's all over the nation. It's not just in bars or nightclubs, it, it happens in restaurants. So I kind of wish the testing was in restaurants as well. But for now, to have it in nightclubs and bars, I think it's a really good thing. Club situations are different. Like it's easy to bump into someone or over someone's shoulder. In a restaurant, tables are kind of farther apart. And so it's just slightly different, I think, which is probably why they skipped on restaurants. But there are other processes these establishments have implemented for patrons to stay safe. We actually have signs in our women's room that is kind of a code if you have issues with someone that you're with and you want some some help. We took a, I guess, a proactive approach even though it's not required, but um, yeah, we, we think it's important that everyone's safe. For the young women today, I would like to see another level of protection that they are in control of and is accessible anywhere. As for the number of establishments that this is going to impact, the California Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control says that it will impact about 2,400 licensees across the state. For now, live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. Mina, thank you.